my name's Vicky Cooper and I'm a cardiac physiologist. Cardiac physiology is an umbrella term really for a number of diagnostic tests that we perform for patients with possible um, coronary artery disease. So we do lots of diagnostic testing from ambulatory heart monitors all the way through to patients that are coming in having a heart attack that will come into this room and have an angioplasty which is a procedure to open up the blockage in the artery of the heart and restore blood flow and there's a number of tests that we do to get to that point. I started this job um, over 15 years ago. I came into the job um, as an assistant technical officer and I performed a number of diagnostic heart tests and trained in that particular area and I had a real love for cardiology. Um, I enjoyed the patient contact and helping people and I enjoyed learning all about the heart which is such a complex organ um, and then I went on to um, train further in my job and I did my degree in um, clinical physiology specialised in cardiology and I'm here today now as a cardiac physiologist. So a moment ago we saw a patient having a coronary angiogram he'd come in and had a heart attack and it's just to talk you through what that actually means if you have a look at this screen here, we've got an x-ray image of the heart. You have to have a little bit of an imagination, but this shadow here is the heart. There's a catheter going down into the vessel and we're injecting a dye into there to look for any narrowings in the heart that could be causing a heart attack. Here we can't actually see anything at all because the vessel is completely blocked. In this case, we've then gone on to put a wire down and then we've injected a contrast agent which will light up the artery for us and here we can see where the blockage begins. Put a wire down the artery here, which restores some of the flow, and because there's a narrow in there, there's some plaque in the vessel, we need to keep it open with a, a small piece of mesh called a stent, which we'll then go on to do. You can see blood flow is being restored down the vessel, and it just shows how big it actually is. Okay, so now we have the vessel opened back up again now, restoring blood flow as it should be. So we've gone from a completely blocked artery to a healthy open artery and a healthy heart.